my name is Nuchi Vang, and I'm here with Senator Fong Her. Senator Fong Her, congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. And I wanted to ask you, um, I'm representing a part of the Hmong younger generation, and I would like to ask you, what do you think about our Hmong youth here in the U.S. as in terms of education and our Hmong culture, and what do you hope to see for our Hmong youth? I think uh, if you pay attention to my uh, challenge and my victory, um, I know we're moving so fast into the future, and we're living in the 21st century. We have to be technology inclined, and we have to be in the forefront of, of the workforce. But at the same time, uh, we should not forget about our culture. And the path to my victory was that I, I recruit elders in my community, like 18 clan council, to be, to be part of my campaign. And my family was innovating in that. And so we had to, based on the historical, the, the traditional fact that we are 18 clan, whether we like it or not, and we, if we want to be successful, we have to drag along the 18 clan with us. You know, we may be blend to mainstream. You know, we may be even uh, cross marriage to other ethnic group. You know, but uh, if you want to come back and um, empower Hmong people, we have to uh, look in the center of our culture. And what do you think about our Hmong youth and education? And what is your perspective about that? Um, I think we need to work harder. You know, we, we're in the uh, greatest country in the world, you know, where education is all readily for us and uh, we don't want to be left out. Okay. We don't want to be uh, left out or, you know, we don't, we don't want to just um, take it easy and just ride along, you know. I think we should uh, do the best we could. We, I'm, and I'm blessed that, uh, you know, I'm a, one of the slightly older generation. I came to this country almost close to my teen already, and I'm struggling learning English myself. You know, and so, you know, the younger generation should not just uh, take, take it easy, you know, um, play video games uh, throughout their life. They should uh, be involved and be in innovative, be entrepreneur, be productive citizen of this country. You know, and I will try my best to make sure that they have, you know, the, the poor sector of our com community get f their fair share of education as well as the um, well-to-do well sector of our community. And the last question is, what is an advice that you would give to the Hmong youth? Overall, just, uh, you know, I'm going to go back to the traditional way of how old people, I, I didn't understand this when I was younger, but now as I'm reaching my mid-40, I know what it is, you know, like, you know, like, you know, no, 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 so listen to your parent and study hard. I think that's a, that's a basic uh, philosophy, everything else built from that. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.